So this is my first time ever making a video like this, but when I was installing my first subwoofer after I had had it installed, one of the biggest issues I was having was rattles with my car. So if you look online, a lot of people are going to tell you that the best solution to cutting down rattles in your car to a subwoofer is to dynamat or use sound dampening in the trunk, the doors, just putting sound dampening anywhere in the car to actually cut down on vibration. Well, unfortunately, that did not solve my issue, and I saw a lot of other people in different forums that were having this issue, but the biggest issue I was having is my rear deck was facing more rattles than any other location in the car. I have the trunk fitted out with an NVX sound dampening kit. Uh, it was a trunk kit that I got for $60, and it worked pretty well. Uh, it helps to keep some of the sound in the car. It did cut down some of the exterior rattles, but it didn't help the rattling that was driving me crazy. What was driving me crazy was this rear deck and this third brake light here. The problem is this rear deck is just a thin piece of carpet on top of a slate of fiberboard. And this fiberboard is only secured on the perimeter of the deck, but in the center and everywhere else inside this area actually is just on top of the t you know the top of your trunk this is only resting on the top of the metal frame that lines the interior of your trunk and the problem here is when my subwoofer is resonating a low frequency it's causing a little bit of vibration in the metal but worse it's causing this to vibrate on top of the metal which is causing so much rattling so as you can see here a lot of movement you can hear how that rattles when it's hitting the top of the trunk and there was no solutions online anywhere i only found a couple forms that even that touched on this exact locate uh solution and i want to share it today because i didn't find this too easily on youtube i had to search around a bit so i just wanted to make a video that was explaining exclusively how to cut down rattle in the third deck or the rear deck and the third brake light Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? <laughs> So as you can see, I'm getting a lot of rattling up here, um, both from the rear deck vibrating the third brake light and from it making contact with the, the back windshield here. So I'm going to show you now how I solved both the rear deck and the third brake light. So the solution I found in the rear deck is what you can actually do is you can come into your trunk space here and what you have to do is you have to find a hole in the top of your trunk in the top of your framing here that actually gives you access to the underside of the rear deck now for me i already knew where this location was and when i put the sound dampening in my car i actually made this cut out here so i kept access to it i also kept access here because initially i i had always known about the third brake light making a lot of rattling so i wanted to make sure i left access to that and what I ended up finding was that on this forum, this guy posted it and said his solution after so long of searching and trying to find something was he was able to get access to the rear deck right through one of these small ports. And all he did was he used, uh, you know, any, any rag towel. And what you do is if you bun bunch up this towel like so, if you fold it up, into a thin, thinner, thinner strand here. This way, you can actually put this up into the top of the surface here and slide it back. And what what's that? What that's going to do is it's going to push this towel underneath the rear deck of your car. And what this is going to do is actually cut out the rattling sound because the issue we're having is that the rear deck is vibrating 
against the top of the trunk here because there's no there's no clip securing it down in the center. So what we can do is put this rag up through this port here, apply pressure to the underside of the rear deck, and that's going to cut out most of your rattling that you're getting from that. So a good way to know if you found a port that gives you access to the rear deck, I'm going to place my camera down on the rear deck here, and I'm going to go push up through the port I was just showing you on the underside of my rear deck. and. When I'm doing this, I'll be looking through the, the little sliver in the trunk to look through the, uh, the windshield to see if this is moving. Now I know it's already going to move, so I'll just go push up on that to show you. So as you can see, the rear deck movement there does show that that port I'm, I'm looking at is the port I'm going to want to use to put my rag into. So now I'm going to show you uh, putting the rag up in and after the rag's in there what the difference is in the sound. And I'm going to ball up my rag here. Or we're going to compress the rag like that. And then I'm just going to Put the rag in the hole, and as soon as I get it in, push it up and push it out towards the center of the rear deck. And I'm going to also want to push it. Also want to put it, push it this way as well, so that I get get under the other portion of the third brake light, because that's another problem area I'm having. But I'm also going to show a solution I found to that, a very cheap solution too. This one though, you could just grab any household rag laying around and use that. As you can see, I'm getting most of the rag in here. I'll just put the push the rest in like so. Push the sides and then just the final final fidgeting to get it get in the locations I want it because I'm gonna want to make sure it gets towards the center of the deck so that we're cutting down as much vibration as possible all right so although now we've solved the rear deck issue by putting putting a rag right there we still haven't solved the issue of our third brake light actually making contact with the back windshield um, so one of the ways we're going to solve this is actually with a cheap solution that I found at Lowe's. When I first uh, saw the rattle, one of the biggest uh, things that I noticed was as long as I pushed my fingers up over top of this brake light and held it there, the rattling would go away because all it needs is a pressure to counteract this vibration to push it down. So it has no, it has no space to actually vibrate against the, the deck and the top of the trunk underneath so I knew immediately all I was gonna need was some foam solution anything just to slide in between the third brake light and the windshield so what I actually found that already worked I, I took apart I had already s applied uh, both the rag and uh, what I'm about to show you I already put it in my car before and I know this solved the issue but I took them out just so I could re reinstall them to show you my solution but I'm also I'm actually using a polyfoam caulk saver. This is actually this is supposed to fill gaps on the sides of window trims where caulk would be applied. Um, but nonetheless, this material it's it's a thick foam. I got the five five eighths diameter, um, so I knew this would be enough space to actually fill the void in my third brake light between that and the rear windshield. So now all I have to do is apply this on top of this. You can see all my, my finger marks on the windshield here, but all we're gonna do is place it right here, apply some pressure, and push it in between the windshield. And it should slide right in. And now this is both applying pressure down on the third brake light and the, the gap of space beneath it, and it's also pushing back up on the windshield. So it's it's decreasing any chance of vibration to occur between these two materials. 
Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? So as you can see here with the after result, um, there was no vibration up here. There was a little bit of vibration here, but you couldn't even, it, it didn't make any rattling effect. Now, if you did hear vibration, that is uh, most likely coming from my doors over here. I have uh, pretty pretty cheap doors and this harness that holds down the, uh, the window, the window control, this is actually giving me a lot, of, a lot of rattle in all my doors. And I haven't sound dampened the actual metal frame of any of these doors. I'm planning on in the future taking off these uh, door panels um, and I'm gonna try and sound dampen any uh, wiring harnesses, uh, any wires in general, or just any, any points in the door where I'm actually getting a lot of vibration. So if you heard anything, it was probably most likely from this. But anywho, I hope you at least were able to hear the difference in the rattling back here because I know this is a problem area for a lot of people in their cars after they put in their own uh, their own uh, sound system and subwoofer maybe even just new speakers are giving you a little bit of rattle back here but I hope the solution helped uh, remember rag uh, under the rear deck through the port that you could most likely find in all vehicles through your trunk I I believe all manufacturers have to, uh, at least have some holes or access to the underside of the rear deck through the inside of your trunk because especially if you have a third brake light on top of your rear deck uh, most manufacturers will provide uh, access to the screws to the third brake light just in case you need to change the light or uh, you know fix some wiring or even if you just need to take this out uh, to put in a new one they should have the holes down under or on the underside of the uh, the top of the trunk uh, you see I had a uh, I had a small circle on this side and I had that big square opening on this side that's actually where I was putting the rag in through that uh, that square port over there but otherwise um, the rag under on the under, underside of the uh, the rear deck and the tube the uh, the foam tubes on top of the rear brake light and even the the foam foam tubing in between the crease between the windshield and the rear deck should cut down on all your rattling i think from the rear here i've lost almost all my rattles anything else is probably coming from any uh sound dampening i missed in the trunk because i either just couldn't access it through the narrow crevices in the metal framing or it's also just coming from the cheap doors of my uh 08 uh optima here so i hope the solution could help you out if you're really struggling to find any solutions online with uh rear deck and third brake light even if you didn't hear a significant change in the sound test, at least just try it for yourself. It doesn't hurt to just push a rag up under, you know, under the rear side of your deck. If it doesn't work, you can either just leave it there or take it out. It doesn't matter. And I know this isn't really a professional uh, solution here. It's definitely not a long, long term solution either. But, you know, as long as this holds me over for months at a time, I can always replace this tubing. It costs three or four dollars at Lowe's. I showed you the bag. It was dirt cheap for this tubing and I got 20 feet of it. So I'm not even halfway out of my tubing after installing it all the way along the, the perimeter of the rear windshield and the uh, the top of the third brake light here. And the rag, you know, we can just get, I can even put two rags up there if I want to, if this one vibrates or slides out of place. So I hope these cheap solutions helped you out. It really helped me out. It returned the justice to my uh, sound quality in my car, especially being my first install. I am astounded with the results I was able to get out of these cheap solutions here. Something that sound dampening, you know, expensive, you know, top market stuff couldn't even do. So I hope you find this video useful and uh, thanks for watching.